Good morning. I'm up early, earlier than uh, usual, so I'm able to make this video because um, I had an appointment with the ear, nose, and throat doctor, but I had to reschedule because I didn't have the copay. So, um, so I'm able to jump on and make this video. Now, the good news is we see that day approaching when we are going to be home. New glorified bodies. Hallelujah. And we are going to be home with Jesus. Ephesians 1 verse 7, King James Version says, In whom we have redemption, through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace. And I'm sorry if I sound, um, blah. Um, I, I just woke up and had a horrible night's sleep last night, so I apologize. When you accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, your sins are washed clean. Past, present, and future. The shedding of his blood, the sacrifice that our Yeshua made for us, our King, washes your sins clean and you are rapture ready. Which is going to happen literally any second. Any, any time now. Not, not, li let me refer, not literally any second, but I mean, well, it could. It could. We, we just, we don't know. We don't know when the day and time is. Only our Heavenly Father knows. But we know that day is approaching soon. Hold on to the Lord's hand. Don't let it go. Because time is very short. This is from War News 247. This war has escalated. And it will continue to escalate. I truly believe that this is the war that will bring in the Antichrist. We're not going to be here when the Antichrist appears. That's how close we are. Russia and the USA see regional war. Israel's ground operation will fail. Leads to Iran involvement and use of nukes. This is a statement by American officials and N. Medivh. An Israeli ground operation in Gaza may fail miserably and develop into a generalized war in the Middle East involving Iran and the use of nukes. This is the conclusion reached by two top American former officials who show on the one hand that they do not believe that Israel can succeed at least on its own and on the other hand they fear the worst. In fact the assessment that the region is heading for regional war was expressed yesterday by the correspondent of NBC News based on the information from Israel and Arab states. It is noted that the sudden intervention of B. Putin pointed in the same direction. This is why the Russian president publicly revealed that he ordered a 24-hour patrol of MIG-31 aircraft with KH-47M2 targeting American aircraft carriers in the eastern Mediterranean. David Petraus, the former head of the CIA, who also served as a top U.S. general in Iraq and Afghanistan, expressed concern about the Israeli ground military attack on the Gaza Strip. Petros, speaking on Politico's Power Play podcast, estimated that a ground attack would take years and involve horrific fighting. In fact, he warned that the Israeli armed forces' continued bombing campaign, quote, could become, I don't know, Mogadish, I'm going to spell this word out, M-O-G-A-D-I-S-U, I-S-H-U, on steroids very quickly. Petraeus referred to this point in the 1933 incident when three U.S. Black Hawk helicopters were shot down in Somalia's capital. By then, there had been bloody fighting within the city as U.S. forces scrambled to rescue the survivors of the crash. They got the podcast here. You will see suicide bombers, improvised explosive devices. According to the American general, the Israelis would face such a reality inside enemy territory in the event of a ground attack. If Hamas are as creative in defense as they were in this horrific, barbaric, and unspeakable attack, then you will see suicide bombers. You will see improvised explosive devices. There will be ambushes, traps, and the urban environment again. No, it could be more difficult, he said. Petraeus said his personal 
experience of commanding armies engaged in violent counterinsurgencies campaigns should serve as a warning to Israeli forces should they proceed with a ground invasion. Israel's being put in this position where they have no choice, you know? They're just trying to just, they just want to live in peace. This is Bible prophecy. Through and through. Usually it takes a decade. It's hard for me to imagine a more difficult setting than this one. And I was the one who commanded forces in a number of major urban operations, Petras said. You don't win counterinsurgencies in a year or two. It usually takes a decade or more, as we saw in Iraq, as we saw in Afghanistan. Oh, don't even get me started on Afghanistan. All the, all the weapons that we left behind are being used right now. Now, I'm sorry, but it, it just gets me how people still support Biden. I mean, I, I don't trust any of them, personally, but that's just me. I mean, but when you're a U.S. president, you don't leave equipment like that behind in the hands of terrorists. There's, and, and anybody that supports Biden, believe there is a few. I, I know of a few people that support him. You just don't, they're just, they're, they're never going to see. And I pray that they do. But it's common sense that you don't do that. I mean, the former army chief and Israel needs a plan to restore basic services, rebuild Gaza, and strengthen government. Uh, governance in the region once it considers the battle against Hamas one. Iran could develop a functioning nuclear bomb in six weeks. I thought they already had one. They, they, they already have one. They, they already have one. I'm always, I'm always hearing reports, okay, six weeks from now they'll have a bomb. And then months from now, okay, so another week they'll have a bomb. They have a bomb already. That's my opinion. The possibility of a nuclear confrontation is open, warns a former American official. Iran could develop a functioning nuclear bomb in six weeks. A former U.S. defense, they already have one. A U.S. defense intelligence agency official has warned in a statement to, <coughs> to the U.S. newspaper Express. Matt Shoemaker argues that a nuclear bras de fer between Israel and Iran is not out of the question if Hezbollah gets involved in the Israeli-Hamas war. The Israel-Hamas conflict could spark a nuclear war if Iran builds a nuclear bomb. They have one, says a former U.S. intelligence official. The alarming warning from his lips comes as the Tel Aviv government prepares for a ground attack on Gaza. Reasonable threat of nuclear war? Definitely. The threat of nuclear war currently remains unlikely, but it has become a plausible threat in this crisis not only because of Iran's nuclear weapons program, but because Israel is a nuclear power. He even recalls that Iran's foreign minister has warned Israel that it will suffer a huge earthquake if Gaza is invaded. Iran would not remain an observer in the conflict, estimates the DIA expert, adding, as a former defense intelligence agency officer and based on information I received from 2022, some estimate that if Iran were to launch a nuclear bomb, it could develop a functioning nuclear bomb within six weeks. Again, they, I think they already have one. And while Israel leader Benjamin Netanyahu is receiving heads of state and government in Tel Aviv to express their solidarity and their willingness to help him in the war zone with defense equipment, there is a widespread fear that in the event of a Hezbollah involvement, I believe they're going to get involved. But that I could be wrong. That's just my opinion. The group that backed by Iran, there is a risk of flare-up on the Lebanese-Israeli border. The American official expressed his strong concern about the development of the situation, <clears throat> considering that the Israeli-Palestinian conflict will go to another level if the government of Tehran builds a nuclear bomb. Menefib's bombshell. The Israel-Hamas conflict may lead to a regional and even global war. I believe it will. Medvedev, deputy president of the Security Council of Russia, advanced a particularly worrying assessment who argued that the conflict between Israel and Hamas has every chance of developing into a regional or even a global war 
in this article, if the Russian newspaper, um, what uh, Medivh speaks of a war without rules. This is a war again in the Middle East, a brutal war without rules, a war based on terror and the doctrine of the disproportionate use of force against the civilian population, says Medivh who admits that Moscow is particularly concerned about developments in the Middle East. This news conflict has every possibility of developing into a full regional war. Medvedev asserts, even pointing out, that under certain bad conditions, a war could be faced with a world war. I think we're already in a world war. 100-year war or short nuke? As Medvedev argues, if this conflict in the Middle East is not resolved, in a proper and fair way, this war could escalate into a 100-year war or even a short nuclear war. The only way to definitively solve the issue is the creation of an independent Palestinian state by implementing all the fundamental political decisions taken since 1947. Dang. <sighs> Emphasize, as many of it who believes, the current situation cannot hold any hope. Few people are currently interested in the Palestinian cause, pursuing only military goals. The alternative, however, is significantly worse, a war that will last another hundred years. Or even worse, a short conflict with the use of nuclear weapons by regional powers with the prospect of intervention by major nuclear powers, men have emphasized. Um, this is not the Palestinians' land. This is the Jewish people's land. This God will not let anything happen to Israel. God, it's the apple of God's eye. Israel is the apple of God's eye. So, this is bad. The only one that's going to solve this is the Antichrist. It's going to be temporary, of course, because after three years, he will only shell like this world, like, like this world's never, ever seen. So, this means the rapture is going to happen any time. I'll leave the link in the description box. I'm going to go drink my coffee. And um, if there's any more breaking news, I will be back on. Um, was I, I'm not, I don't think I'm watching my grandson today. Because I was um, supposed to go to the doctor. I didn't, I didn't realize the copay was going to be so large. Um, this is a specialist doctor. So... Um, so I'll be, I'll be able to be on later if there's any more breaking news. Keep looking up family and keep listening. Because our king, our Yeshua, he's coming back really soon. God bless you. And I'll talk to you soon.